House of Detroit, it opens tomorrow. So give it up for that, guys. <laughs> give it up. Thank you. Um, our goal is the creation of an access, uh, affordable, uh, safe, clean, affordable place for uh, travelers to stay while they are exploring our city. And it's been happening because of people um, much like yourselves, committed 20-something. So Detroit's huge. I don't know if you guys knew this, that Detroit can actually fit those three cities inside of it. It's huge. It, I mean, that's not a joke. And it's very hard to get around. This is what most people think when they see Detroit. Most people are thinking, okay, I don't want to go there. I don't know if I go there, where am I, am I going to just go to see that? And our, you know, your friends come to the city and they were going to see a lot of, you know, they would think bad things. But instead, if they got to the top of Michigan Central Station, I don't know if any of you have traversed the top of the train station, but this is what they would see. One morning when I went up there and watched the sunrise from Michigan Central Station, the depot, it was city of the future. So here we go, a hostel in Detroit? That's the question. Why, why a hostel? And it's because we are an incredible city. Detroit is an incredible place. That's why. We want to show this off. So a hostel, what it does, it gives people a reason to come because they know that they will be taken care of. World-class cities all over the entire world have hostels. You know, youth hostel this way. People know when they go to that city that they're going to be taken care of. So Hostel Detroit. If you go to our website, which is hosteldetroit.com, you will see this is where we are located in North Corktown. Um, you can Google us and... I guess we have our growing web presence. Unique neighborhood. We are in North Corktown. I don't know how many of you have been there, but if you haven't, you should show up. The sugar people, they're, you know, my neighbors. Uh, they're coming up soon. But unique neighborhood. Brother Nature Produce. Rachel's Place Vintage. We've got Pink Flamingo Taco Truck. We've got Spalding Court. A lot of good things going on in this neighborhood. So, Hustle Detroit, how did it happen? We had thousands of dollars worth of furniture donated. Uh, volunteers carrying it from all over Metro Detroit. It was, this was the morning of a St. Patty's Day parade. Thousands of volunteer hours, the collections of, so I don't know how many of you know how to drywall. I didn't six months ago, and now I do, but that's because I've had volunteers that have taught me how. Um, also, this is a picture of obviously people helping me move all this furniture. Um, the drywalling pictures, I made, they made sure they were not, not around. Lessons learned. Guys, if you're going to do a community project like this, I would say take your time at the beginning. I kind of rushed into this, this whole social media thing. I, I kind of put out on Facebook, we're going to do it. But even though I didn't take my time, guys, we're opening tomorrow, and our opening party is this Sunday, 2 to 5 p.m. Please come see us. Free event, opening party, 2700 Vermont. Please come and see us. You can walk through the hostel. So lesson number two, tearing down drywall is way easier than putting it back up. Yeah way easier. So just keep that in mind when you're rehabbing a house or a commercial building. <laughs> just, just keep that in mind. Um, next, we've had a lot of experts that have helped us. We've been all volunteers. We've had a few people. Um, this guy in particular, Mark Wilson, has helped design all of our bed frames and whatnot. Um, find some experts. So when you're working in the community, find a few people who are going to help you out. Next, partner with people other nonprofits, even, who are going to help you. I partner with the Live to Give Foundation. Give it up for them. Yeah. Um, partner with them, and they really helped make this happen. Next, find people who are going to help you. Um, again, if you're doing a community project, find people who are willing to help you get things at a discounted price. Serta actually sold us our, all of our mattresses at, like, half the cost. So that was very cool. Um, it's because we're a nonprofit. We're always looking for partnerships. We're looking for help. We're looking to help the city. Um, next, so I don't know a lot about social networking, but I do know that if you're genuine, if you really, you know, people know that you're actually trying to like make a difference, that it really, you know, works out. So I think maybe that's something that we've got going. We need you, guys. Um, tell all your friends. I don't know how many of you have backpacked around Europe. I never have. But tell all your friends from all over the world to come to Detroit. We have a hostel now. We have a place they can stay that won't break their bank. This is what it, the, it looks like. It's going to be a really, really, really fun summer. We're going to have parties in the backyard. We're going to have live music. We're going to have barbecues. We're going to have events coming in and out. We have an ambassador program. If you want to take people all over Detroit because you love your city, come talk to me. Emily at hosteldetroit.com. Thanks so much. You really don't have an excuse. You need to get at least one friend. I challenge all of you, get one friend to come to Metro Detroit and stay at the hostel. 
and then they will tell a friend, and they'll tell a friend, and that's what I ask. Thank you so much.